The South Pole is more than penguins and endless snow. There's a hidden ghost world within it. Look, it's right here on the globe. Don't confuse Antarctica with the Arctic, which is at the top of our maps. Much smaller in size and, let's face it, way less mysterious. The ice sheet covering Antarctica is about 1 to 3 miles thick, which is up to 16 Eiffel Towers stacked on each other. This massive blanket hides the true features and contours of Antarctica's land. We still don't know much about this mysterious continent, and it is ice and snow that are to blame. We still don't even know the true shape and size of this continent. Mapping Antarctica without some huge shovels is an incredibly hard task. But satellites learn to penetrate the ice with their cameras. And now we know there's actually an enormous, dramatic ancient landscape beneath the snow. The ghost of the past. About 90 million years ago, Antarctica was a much warmer place. It was actually a lush rainforest with tons of plants and probably teeming with life. It even had rivers flowing through it. Then the ice came. This happened about 34 million years ago, during the transition from the Eocene to the Oligocene, when our planet cooled significantly. It was the beginning of one of our several ice ages. The land remained, but now was hidden under ice and snow that got thicker and thicker. To a regular eye, Antarctica turned into a white desert, vast, flat, and featureless. Time went on. This massive ice sheet moved around, smoothing and shifting the ground beneath it. Over the millions of years, it changed what the land looked like. Now, if we looked under the ice, it wouldn't hold any signs of the original South Pole, except for one place. In areas where the ice is especially thick and doesn't move much, like in East Antarctica, it has actually worked the other way around. It became like a super thick blanket that protects the land. Normally, things like wind or rain slowly wear away the ground over time, changing its shape. But since we have this protective ice blanket, it prevents these natural processes from reaching the stuff underneath. So, the ground stayed almost the same for millions of years, like it's been frozen in time. This special area near the Aurora and Schmidt subglacial basins has become the ghost of Antarctica's landscape. This place was barely touched even since it was first covered in snow 34 million years ago. This is a historical footprint, a place that can tell us what Antarctica's ground looked like before it became a freezing nightmare. As scientists peered under East Antarctica, they saw an amazing ghost. The traces of the rivers that were flowing there millions of years ago, various valleys, and some weird little islands as well as three big chunks of land shaped like the letter U. Hey, what's that all about? You see, the continents on our planet are moving constantly, sliding along the red-hot lava mantle like cereal on milk. Over history, they came together and broke apart several times. Hundreds of millions of years ago, several continents were a part of one enormous Gondwana. Antarctica was one of them. It used to be one huge landmass. But when Gondwana broke apart, the poor continent got stretched by tectonic forces. Parts of land were pulled away from each other. Whoosh! And they got torn apart. And that's how we got these big chunks or blocks of land under thick layers of ice. In any case, scientists now want to explore this ghost a bit more. But to study it deeply, they need to actually drill down through the ice like using a straw to get to the bottom of a thick shake. This will help them pick up some rocks and dirt from way below to learn more about the Earth's history and climate. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent in the world, approximately bigger than the entirety of Europe or Australia, competing with the entire South America in size. Aside from East Antarctica, we discussed there are several more regions, Antarctica Peninsula, South Pole, West Antarctica, and the Ross Sea. The continent is basically a frozen sandbox, and all its hidden, mysterious landscape is actually less explored than Mars's terrain. We only know for sure that without ice, it wouldn't just be flat and empty, but an entire world full of big mountains, huge canyons, 
and even fiery volcanoes. Some of these volcanoes are so huge that they peak above the layers of snow. In West Antarctica alone, there are at least 138 volcanoes, though only about 8 or 9 are active today. One of the craziest ones is Mount Erebus, the southernmost volcano and the tallest one on the continent, about 12 and a half thousand feet high. And deep beneath the ice sheet, this guy hosts incredible beautiful subvolcanic caves. The temperatures there are warm enough for t-shirts. The Antarctic Peninsula, or Lesser Antarctica, looks like a bunch of mountainous islands deeply underground. It has newer volcanic rocks that are part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is like a giant circle of volcanoes and earthquake zones around the Pacific Ocean. The Greater Antarctica is a huge part, almost as big as Australia. It consists of East Antarctica and the South Pole. Beneath the ice, it's a place of rocks that have been around for a very, very long time, including the special zone we mentioned. You probably know that Antarctica is nearly devoid of humans. No wonder, with a mean temperature of about minus 46 degrees Fahrenheit. But even though this place is horrifyingly cold and deserted, life still clings on. You guessed it, in the underworld. In 2017, Scientists found DNA traces of algae, moss, and even possibly unknown small animals in the deep caves. That means that even in such crazy conditions, there are still unique ecosystems thriving in little isolated warm pockets beneath the snow. There was another incredible find beneath Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf, a lively ecosystem vibing within an underground river. Scientists have long suspected that Antarctica's underworld should have some freshwater lakes and rivers. One day, a satellite spotted a groove there. They decided to explore it and used a hot water drill to melt their way through the ice. As they reached the underworld, they dropped a camera into one of those hidden fresh rivers. And at first, they thought they'd find just some rocks or something. But instead, they stumbled upon hundreds of amphipods tiny shrimp-like creatures. Little ones instantly swarmed around the lens. Shrimps blocked the camera and scientists couldn't check out what they wanted to. Pretty funny, but at least that means that there really is an important ecosystem deep within Antarctica. Now they're gonna explore it. And all this is just the beginning of the mysterious underworld. Antarctica's snow also hides the deepest canyon on Earth under the Denman Glacier. Well. Mariana Trench is still the deepest point on Earth, but it's a part of the oceanic crust, geologically speaking. Also, in 1958, explorers found a huge mountain range under the ice, as big and tall as the famous Alps Mountains. The range stretched for about 745 miles with peaks as high as 1.7 miles. And all this magnificence is buried under tons of ice. Who knows what else we might find there? Antarctica holds about 60% of our entire planet's fresh water, which means it would be pretty bad if it melted. For example, there's this Doomsday Glacier, officially known as Thwaites Glacier. It's a huge ice formation, about the size of Florida, and it's melting right now. Every year, the sea levels rise by 4% because of it. If this guy melts away completely, the sea levels all around the world will increase by 2 feet which might not sound like a lot, but it would be catastrophic for coastal areas. Luckily, researchers have found that even if its ice shelf were to collapse in the next 50 years, the glacier itself wouldn't retreat as quickly as they feared. It's still losing ice rapidly, but it would be quite a slow process. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.